Hi everyone, good morning. This is Mel Soul, and today is Saturday. So Saturday is short game Saturday. So we talk about parts of the short game that we think will really help your game. So this is one of my instructors, Lance Laws. Uh, he's been with me for a few months now, but he's been teaching for a long time. So he's part of my team here at Tupelo Bay in South Carolina. And uh, Lance, you know, you do a lot of three-day schools for me. Um, when you're teaching three-day schools and you're doing the short game, what questions do the students ask you outside of what we normally do? Well, as we say, we do our school, normally we do chipping and putting here. But the main question I get asked from a lot of my students is how do I, how do I hit a lob shot over a bunker or over a body of mass like water or a bunker? Okay, so we've got here, we've got a flag fairly close. We've got the bunker in front of us. What would you tell the students to do? Okay, well when I encounter this situation, I tell the student to treat this sort of like a pit shot where I would take the club to eight o'clock, seven, eight o'clock and finish on the three. So I would treat this like if I'm trying to play a 20 yard pit shot. And what I would do just to make sure it landed close is I would open the face slightly in this particular instance. Obviously, you don't want to get into a situation where you grip too hard and hit right into the back of the ball. So you want to grip the club fairly loosely so that way you can get the club underneath the ball. So I'll set up. Now make sure my stance is slightly open so that way I can make sure the club slides underneath. And then on to the shot. Good. So you can see that ball landed very softly because there wasn't a lot of pace in the shot. One of the keys with Lance here was that it was a long swing. I noticed myself when, the, when I watch amateurs play the shot, they take a very short backswing and then try and hit it. It's a long backswing. Watch the pros, watch them in a bunker, watch them when they pitch. It's a long, slow motion. I used to love watching Freddie Couples. Freddie Couples would always have this long, slow motion. So what Lance did there was open the club face slightly to give him a bit of height and then you know the ball came off the club face nice and high and landed very softly. So practice the shot before you try it on the golf course. Don't just go to the range and you know play your other shots and then go to the course. Practice the shot. Get behind a, a practice bunker. If you don't have a practice bunker, sometimes when you're out on the course, if there's nobody behind you, drop a few balls in the rough and practice the shot. Lance, thank you, my friend.